Big primetime game in Death Valley this week. ACC, Louisville, Clemson. Saturday night, we're going to talk about that in a second. But first, a big special at Wager Talk. Coupon code FBALL50 gets you $50 off NFL or college football. Any handicapper on the site this week and this week only. Coupon code FBALL50 for $50 off. Okay, Louisville, Clemson. Uh, the video plays here on YouTube for me have been going great. 3-0 and in last week's video plays. Texas Tech, winner. Uh, the under in Virginia Tech, Georgia Tech, winner. And then a client play on the Browns wins outright. Uh, I have a client play video up for Syracuse, Virginia Tech. So check that out. For this one, I'm going to do similar to what I did with Georgia Tech, Virginia Tech last week. I had every intention of coming on and doing a video on Georgia Tech, the side. Last second, switched it up, did the total. Total won easily, a 21-6 final. And that's kind of what I'm, I'm doing here. Now, I, I do like Louisville, and I'll make kind of a little bit of a case for them. But I think the stronger bet here is the under 62 and a half. So let's go back to last week. Uh, I, I had a winning college football week, my fourth winning college football week in a row. Uh, one of my losses was Louisville, minus seven. Disastrous first half start against Boston College. Dug themselves a 20 to nothing hole and, and still almost covered. They ended up winning the game by four. We needed them to win by seven, but, you know, they they had they not dug themselves that horrible hole to start the game, probably a good chance they uh, they end up covering that number. Now, something I've really noticed with Louisville this year, maybe should have taken this into account more last week, is they really play up or down to their competition. Uh, I'm going through their schedule. I think Louisville's three best efforts so far this year have actually been the three games that they've lost. Seven-point losses to SMU, Notre Dame, and Miami. I think those three games, if you've watched the games, ha have been more impressive than their, any of their five wins. And it's important to note Louisville did not cover in any of those games. But now, where the, where the market is on Louisville, where the market is on Clemson, you're catching 10.5 points with Louisville. You weren't getting that, you know, I think the Notre Dame game was 6.5. I believe the Miami game was like five. And then, of course, they were favored against SMU. Uh, but SMU looks a lot better now than they did, you know, when they when they were playing that game. So I do think the market has shifted too much to make Louisville a double-digit underdog here. So that's where the appeal is on the Louisville side. But I do have some concerns, and my concerns sort of tilt me here to the under being the better bet. Now, Clemson, they've had a week off, right? So they. That's a big point to make here. Clemson comes off a bye. They've had an extra week to prepare. Louisville has not had a bye since week three. I believe they'll be playing their seventh straight game in a row here. So that's not exactly the you know kind of spot, in my opinion, that you want to back a team. But it also could mean they're a little bit sluggish. It, it might mean they, I don't want to say they quit, but maybe they don't have as much in the second half. All things that I think, tilt toward the under being the right side. Now, Clemson, they've been rolling offensively, 49 points against Wake Forest, 48 points against Virginia. But I think it's worth pointing out that Clemson has played some, some pretty poor opposition recently. You know, they have one of the, the largest first half point margins of any team in the country. Since the Georgia game, Clemson's been just a monster favorite in, in just about every game. They seem to get a huge lead in just about every game. And the only area that they've really been vulnerable has been garbage time. That, that's where they've they've given up the most points. You know, last, last time out against Virginia, a great example of that. I, I believe J Virginia had two garbage time uh, touchdowns to stay within the number in that game. You know, Wake Forest was just a total blowout. So, some of these games for Clemson, I think, have – have sort of devalued like their defensive numbers on the like the overall defensive numbers for them because they'll get up by 30 and, and then they just kind of go to sleep defensively suddenly you know Virginia last week suddenly or two weeks ago suddenly ends up with 31 points uh they weren't that good offensively over the course of that game so I think that has maybe maybe watered down the Clemson defensive numbers I think that's the reason that you're getting this total. Uh, upwards of 60 as opposed to like 59, 58, where I make the number for the total. Um, 
the other po- thing I want to point out here is this is a prime time game. It's it's definitely probably the biggest game Clemson has played since the Georgia game. And in some of the in big games, Dabo seems to go a little bit more conservative. Uh, even though Florida State was a bigger underdog, I think we saw elements of of that sort of prime time conservative play in the Florida State game. So so you have to wonder if Clemson gets ahead here. I don't know if it's a free for all late in this game. I think they might be more inclined to play field position, to to just call plays, you know, in in a manner that doesn't give Louisville the chance to get the big takeaway and, and flip the momentum. I, I that's kind of how I see Clemson approaching this game. Uh, Kate Klubnik has really improved as a quarterback. I, I went to the game down in Clemson a couple of years ago. They were playing Syracuse, and it was the game that that DJU got got officially benched, uh, and they brought Klubnik in. Everyone's super excited about him, and you know he he had, it took him a while to pan out, but I really think that he's like the, the real deal now. You know more so than he was you know immediately when he got put in or last year. I the offenses look great. Again, I think you have to take that with a grain of salt based on the uh, teams that Clemson has played, but you can't discount the fact that he's looked great as a quarterback. The Clemson offense has been rolling and, you know, Louisville defensively is good, but not great. The pass rush is decent, but, but they don't, they, they, they apply pressure, but they don't get home a ton. You know, I, I felt the same. It's kind of what I felt like watching the BC game. They're good enough. They're in the right places. They're probably not just going to get destroyed. So that, again, we're talking about the under here. I, I do think Louisville can can hold their own, but they don't force turnovers. They're outside the top 100 nationally in uh, in turnover margin. Their turnovers forced. Really, here's what it's going to come down to. If Louisville can take care of the ball, like that was the thing last week, three horrible turnovers against Boston College really helped Boston College build that 20 to nothing lead. Of course, Louisville came back and won the game. If Louisville can take care of the football and not turn it over, I could see Louisville in a game similar to like they were with Notre Dame and Miami where they're within striking distance. You know, maybe they've got the ball late down 14 with a chance down 11, with a chance to backdoor the, the number. I, I don't know if Louisville is, is good enough to win this game. I, I don't know that I want to back Louisville here, knowing that they've played seven straight weeks in a row. Um, so that kind of leans me toward the under. I, I actually think this total is very high at 62 and a half. The reason for that is I don't think this game gets out of hand enough for like the free for all fourth quarter, like you saw last, you know, two weeks ago when Clemson played Virginia. I think this is a tighter game. I think Louisville's at least within striking distance. And I think that could cause Clemson to maybe try to suck the air out of the game, longer drives, field position, because their their defense really is very good. I think the Clemson defense has been watered down by some of these garbage time scores they've let up. And so all of that, leads me to believe under 62 is the right side, uh, the right play of, of any of the sides or totals in this game. That's just a lot of points. I, I, I know that Louisville had the shootout with Miami. Clemson doesn't typically play games like that in these big primetime spots. I see a conservative game plan from Clemson, effective but conservative, and, and I think that this is probably you know, Clemson somewhere in the 30s, maybe Louisville somewhere, or maybe – Louisville somewhere in like the teens or the low twenties. I don't think this one reaches 60 points. And so I will go with under 62 and a half for my play in Louisville Clemson. I did give out a client play for free in one of my YouTube videos. So check that out. Um, that is in the Virginia tech Syracuse game. And also please like, and subscribe so we can continue to bring you free pick videos all season long and, and follow me on Twitter at Adam trigger WT. That is my name on all platforms, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, where I'm constantly posting free information. We'll see you guys next time. Hope you cash all your bets this weekend.